Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to go ahead and give you a product demonstration on our Dawa recorder. The same principle goes for if you were to having a IP recorder or if you were having an analog recorder. In this lesson we're going to go ahead and cover how to do a quick search and a full day search and do a backup. Show you how simple this is. So here we have a camera right here. If we uh, do a full zoom on it, we can see what's going on. And then if you hover your mouse up to the top, a little menu bar comes. This menu bar right here, if you hover your mouse over it, it will tell you exactly what it is. Instant replay. So if I click on this and put in your password, that's the default password. We could go ahead and hit the instant replay. And then down here, it's playing back the last five minutes. You can see that um, down here is a time bar. I could make it move forward and so forth or pull it back. So if you felt that something happened on this camera really quick, instead of searching the whole setup for all the cameras, you could quickly just pick on one camera and then and do a replay. Down on the bottom right is your X button. You could exit out of there and we'll go back to live view. Also, while we're talking about this menu up top, you have the, the zoom feature. If you hit it, it has the plus sign. And once it has the plus sign, you can click and, and drag a box. So now it's checked. I can click and drag this box and, and the camera will zoom into that. So you can see the quality of the camera. These are four megapixel IP cameras that allows you to do a, a digital zoom. And all a digital zoom is, is that it's blowing up the picture. But by having a four megapixel IP camera, you can see how clear it is. You can still read the sign from the marquee. And if you uh, double click on it, it will go back to your fourth screen. So now we're going to go ahead and do a, a search, a full day search. If I right click, I'll get the menu and I want to come down to where it says main menu or you could go by search. And once you click on main menu, you could go to search. And then down here is the different type of cameras, cameras one, two, three, four, five, six, or you could do one through eight. And if this was a 16 channel, you would have that box that was available to you. Down on the bottom left hand side, where it says zero to 2300 hours. This is your timeline and the recorded video that reflected in that timeline. And you have your calendar up right here in this top right corner where it shows all the dates and so forth. So if you needed something from the 23rd, you could just double click on the 23rd and it will fill in over here. But let's just go ahead and hit play. And we can see the, the clarity of the night view from the camera at night that's inside and the only light that it has is the infrared lights off of these other cameras. There is no regular uh, house light that is on. But if you have ambient light in your parking lot or outside, the camera will stay in color. So if I go and I want to find something at 10 o'clock, I could just come down to here where it says 10 and click on the 10 spot and all the cameras will go to 10 o'clock. You also have your basic features of fast forward right here. If you hit that, it says two times down on the bottom left hand corner and that will say that it's two times the speed do it again it will do four do it again it will do eight do it again and 16 and so forth so if you need to go back you just say stop or hit the play button and it will go back to regular time speed you could always double click and zoom into that area and be able to see what's going on um, you could always make a box and, and zoom into that camera. There's no other buttons that you have to push. Right click to get out. Now remember, if you press right click too many times, you will actually exit out. So that's how you do a search, a very simple search. You just go ahead and pick the, uh, the calendar date that you're looking for. You tell what type of cameras that you want to see, if you want to see in a four box or an eight box and so forth. And then you just hit play down on the green bar, pick your time that you're looking for, and then you'll have to just use the fast forward or the rewind button to get to the evidence that you're looking for. And once you find that evidence, you could hit the video clip button right here with the scissor and it will actually start clipping that video. And you can hit the fast forward button to fast it up a little bit. And then if you hit this again, it will stop. So it says right here, 
that it went from 10.04 and 2 seconds to 10.04 and 24 seconds. I could hit this box right here that says save. Once again, if you hover your mouse over any icon, it will tell you what it is. And then once you hit the save button, it will come right here and it will say, okay, here's my um, USB stick that I have inside the DVR. I'm recording channel two from this time to this time on this date. And this is the total size that I need. Do I want to back this up? I say yes, back it up. And then I could go ahead and create a new folder right here. I could give it a name. Let's say I call it DVR and I hit enter and I say, okay, now that DVR folder is there. I double click, click on it. So then I'm inside the DVR folder and I hit the start button and it's backing up the file. And now backup is complete. Give that to the police and hopefully you'll be able to catch the bad guys that you're looking for. So this has been a presentation on how to do a search and a backup, very quick presentation. If you need further assistance, please feel free to call us or hit the link button down below on your YouTube channel and leave us a comment or send us an email. We'll be able to further assist you on any feature that you need to have on uh, going through this. But good practice becomes perfect uh, solutions for you to be prepared for when the time is needed so please watch this video over and over again and then also try to practice on your side so then you have a clear understanding how to do a search and a backup if the time is ever needed thank you again have a good day